SCP-3444 opens onto an urban area, stylistically reminiscent of that found in SCP-3444-3. The area is typically portrayed as some form of slum or poor neighborhood. At this point, the cognitohazardous effects ordinarily begin to alter not just the actions of the subject, but their personality too. They will consciously take on the role of someone living within a slum or house within the neighborhood, attempting to become successful at their chosen field, but instead relegated to a less desirable form of employment. The SCP-3444-9 instances will often be hostile to the subject, either through aggression or through attempts to take advantage of the subject's vulnerability. After these interactions, the subject will perform a soliloquy, or for golden events running the musical script, a solo musical piece, discussing their condition, before returning to SCP-3444-1. Please consult Experiment Log 3444-15 for more information. Experiment Log 3444-15, Section 4 Subject, D-2508 A female from Vermont, USA convicted of the premeditated murder of her boyfriend, Keith Baker. This experiment is notable for being the first occasion on which the musical script was activated, in which each silver event features an elaborately choreographed musical number. Summary of Prior Silver Events At SCP-3444-2 Origins The station opened onto an orchard in Vermont. A small farmhouse containing SCP-3444-9-A was located 50 meters away from SCP-3444-2. SCP-3444-9-A took the form of D-2508's father. The instance appeared to have imbibed a large quantity of alcohol, and spent much of his dialogue blaming D-2508 for her mother's death. Upon leaving the farmhouse, D-2508 sang a musical piece about how she wished to leave the countryside and attain some form of success in the city, before returning to SCP-3444-2. At SCP-3444-3, Bright Lights the station opened onto Times Square, New York City, as of 2001. D-2508 entered through several shops located around Times Square, while singing a musical number, along with several SCP-3444-9 instances acting as background singers and dancers, about her hopes for life in the city. Once the musical number had finished, D-2508 returned to SCP-3444-3. Begin Log The station opens onto a street in New York, lined on both sides by run-down, deprivated housing blocks. Unlike the rest of the locales visited, which appear to take place in the early 2000s, the appearance of the buildings is more akin to New York in the early 1990s. D-2508 exits SCP-3444-4 and walks into the street. She is swiftly approached by an SCP-3444-9 instance, apparently representing her boss. What the hell are you doing standing around, missy? Come on, tables ain't gonna wait themselves! But sir... Sir, I've got to get back. My boyfriend will be ever what so angry- What the hell do I care? You be at the diner in 15 or you're fired. I run a business, not a charity. Look, sir, if I could just- No excuses. You wanted this job, you have to put up with it. The boss instance walks away. Oh, what am I to do? I come here full of hopes and dreams and now I'm stuck with a terrible boyfriend, a terrible apartment. My landlord hates me, my boss wants to fire me- Oh, what's a girl like me to do? Another SCP-3444-9 instance, bearing a strong resemblance to Keith Baker, then approaches D-2508. Oh, Keith! I'm real sorry, baby, but I've got to work tonight. Damn it, girl! You're breaking my heart, you know that? I've been slaving away at work all day! The least you can do is get me my goddamn supper! I'm sorry, baby, please don't get mad at me. I've got to bring in money. I should be the one bringing in the dough! Me! That's my job, isn't it? My fucking purpose is a man? For God's sake, I thought we were trying for a baby! We are, baby, we are. It's just not that simple, you know? I swear, once you make it big- Fuck you! Be back before midnight, or you'll get what you deserve! At this point, D-2508 begins to sing.
this town a bitter love untouched by the pale doves it works and fights every night a city of sodden spite this town of bitter is a knife. End log. Summary of subsequent silver events. At SCP-3444-5, first sight. The station opened onto a French restaurant in Manhattan. SCP-3444-9-B appeared as a copy of D-2508's acquaintance Jacob Manuel. The two sang a duet concerning forbidden love. At SCP-3444-6, big break. The station opened onto the ticket office of a different train station. D-2508 bought a ticket to Albany, New York State, before engaging in a solo song concerning themes of romantic love and heartbreak. At SCP-3444-7, Love, the station opened onto a woodland in upstate New York. D-2508 met SCP-3444-9-B. The two then engaged in an impassioned duet, in which they proclaimed their love for one another. The sound of an alarm was then heard. D-2508 then ran back into SCP-3444-7. At SCP-3444-8, Climax, the station opened onto Times Square again. Several policemen were present, telling D-2508 that she had been completely exonerated from the murder of the Baker instance. In response, D-2508 initiated an elaborate musical number involving all the SCP-3444-9 instances present, including SCP-3444-9-B, concerning her newfound freedom, desire to stay in the city, and relationship with SCP-3444-9-B. At SCP-3444 Second Manifestation, Wake Up, SCP-3444-9-B and the Baker instance appeared on either side of D-2508 after she stepped onto the platform. Piano music in the key of E minor could be heard as SCP-3444-9-B attempted to encourage D-2508, while the Baker instance attempted to denigrate D-2508. D-2508 was noted as being visually upset at their appearance, swiftly exiting SCP-3444.